Hey guys, Paul here. Learning about SR set, reset, latch, flip flop logic using the 4011 NAND integrated circuit logic chip is a lot of fun. And I've got that chip set up right here on the breadboard with two switches. We've got switch number one linking to the blue LED and switch number two linking to the red LED. All right, we plugged in power here. You see blue LED is on. The key concept of set, reset, latch, flip-flop logic is that the output of gate one is going to an input on gate two, and the output of gate two is going to an input on gate one. So in this example, when our push button switches are open, the circuit is closed or the or the current flow is continuous so we've got at least one positive input and then we must have a negative or false input to equal one so that the blue LED is on well why is that because we've got a positive output going into an input on the second gate and then because Pin, because switch two is also in the um, true position, as it were, we've got two uh, true values equaling, equaling a false or a negative value. So hence, we've got our second input on the first logic gate is a false, equaling a true value and the blue light. And the red light is off right now because the its uh, button switch is a positive true value. And remember here we're taking the value from the first gate and bringing it into an input into the second circuit or into the second logic gate. So we've got two true values, which in a NAND logic equals a false. So hence our red LED is off. Now when we press button number one pertaining to blue, what's going to happen? Well, that es essentially opens the circuit or um, stops the flow of current. So we're going to have at least one false value. And remember we've got still a true value coming from gate number two because this switch is is still um, active it's still on so that's gonna come out right here back into uh, gate one and the result in NAND logic is a positive value is that blue is gonna stay on when we press blue and if we follow this logic all the way through um, the red button is in a tr in a true state, and because we carry down the um, logic gates number one into the logic gate number two in a true value, in NAND logic, two truths equal a false. So the red should still stay off when we press this blue button, and you see it does. All right, what happens when we press the red button? Well, first off, our um, blue LEDs, um, gate number one, is still a true value because that's not being depressed. So that's going to come down from here as a true value or number one. However, we're going to be closing this um, button. We're going to be stopping the flow of current here. So that's going to be our button value is actually a null or a false. So in NAND logic, a 1 and a 0 is going to give us a positive value. So when we press the red button, we, the light should come on. And as far as the blue light, when we press button number 2, what we're going to have is because this red value is number 1, that's going to kick back into an input on the first gate as in a positive value and remember that our first button is still in a true 
positive sense because it's not being depressed. And in NAND logic, two positives, two true values equals a false. So the blue light should go off. And that's the magic behind our set, reset, flip-flop logic gate. Press this, the red light should come on and the blue light should go off. Essentially flip-flopping or switching the circuit. And you see that. So that's why in set reset logic, this is the blue light gate one is known as the reset and our second gate is known as the set. So when we repress the first button, the blue light's gonna come back on and the red light's gonna go off. Button number two, and the red goes on, press button number one, and the blue light goes on. Again, our 4011 chip, again, being a quad chip, it's got four inputs. Actually, it's got eight inputs corresponding to four outputs. Now, by sharing pin number one with logic eight's number two's output going into pin number one, you can see that the red light is on this time, and then it just kind of goes back and forth between the two lights, but it doesn't set it. It doesn't latch that second circuit when you're sharing the um, pin, the input pin. But that's the cool thing about the 4011 is you've got two inputs corresponding to each output. Now, when we click um, the second button, it can actually switch. Hey you guys, thanks a lot for watching and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you guys real soon.